Okay, how to import um, seismic data into Patrol. So you open up Patrol and this is the window that comes up. You click OK. It says initializing can take a bit of time. Okay, and once it's finished initializing, this uh, front window will open up and it should say new project at the top. If not, you go file new project over here. And then you click on this button um, it's under the home tab. It says import file. Click on it. And you're going to navigate to the folder that's got your seismic data. This is mine over here. And I'm just going to highlight the ones that I want. And I'm going to click open. Um, you might have to adjust at the bottom here to check you've got the correct format. Um, usually for seismic data, it's segwire seismic data. So um, if nothing shows up in your folder, it's because you need to choose the correct file type first. And click on open. Um, coordinate system. So you just got to know the coordinate system that your data is in. So you would collect, uh, click on select CRS, um, and there's several diff different options here. Um, mine is UTM 34. It helps a lot as well. Um, okay, I think actually don't type UTM WGS 84. Um, Several of them come up at the bottom here, and you can scroll up to find yours. So it's not showing I need 34. I'm going to take this off, and instead of doing that, I'm actually just going to click on name here so that it sorts in alphabetical order. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. You can see WGS 84. Oh, you can see the problem was I typed WGS 84, which should be underscore 1984. That's why it wants to pick it up. So rather just look in the list, and I'm going to scroll down here to uh, uh, Zone 34 South and click OK. And then it loads in your data. So it goes through each one individually and asks you some stuff about it. So it asks you the name, you can double check the type. And um, this is the template that it's loading, I'm leaving it on default. Mine is in time. Um, this is coordinate system, uh, Z conversion. Um, I'm going to leave mine at none, but if you know yours is in milliseconds, you can convert. Uh, negative negates Z values are mostly positive. I'll leave that clicked and click OK. I'm, I'm going to have to do that for all of my lines, but I'll click here OK for all. Um, and then click OK. And it loads. You can see at the bottom here it's loading. And so you can see on the left-hand column here, it's loaded all of my data. And so now we just need to view the data. And so you go here to under the Home tab to Window, and you open up um, 2D Window for now. And okay, you can see it just takes a little bit of time to load in mine. And so this is my 2D Window, and I'm going to click on my seismic images here to display in the 2D Window. So this is the map out of it. If I click on all of mine, it shows you the whole line. And so let's just zoom out. Okay, if you click up here on this I button, which is next to the home, it zooms out to show you the whole line. And you can see each section of my line um, is labeled. So I've got several segments that make up one long line. Let's look what it looks like in 3D. So here's a 3D window. You can see here, um, I clicked on one of my lines and it's loaded it over here. And so you can zoom in and view all of your data in 3D. Let's load all of it and zoom out. You can see here's my line. It's nice to see it in 3D because you can see how it curves. And yeah, that's just the basics of how to load the data into Patrol.